If you're over 40 and you're wondering why your body feels completely different, why your belly is growing and your energy is tanking, or you can't remember simple things, this isn't just getting older. It's something deeper. And the good news, you can flip the switch starting today. In this video, I'll show you exactly what's going on and those tiny, powerful ways that your daily habits are talking to your genes because your body listens to what you do more than what you say. So you've probably heard the phrase, your genes are your destiny, but that's old science. What we know now is this, your lifestyle choices can influence how your genes behave. This is called epigenetics. Think of your DNA like a giant cookbook. In epigenetics, well, it's the sticky notes that's telling your body which recipes to follow and which ones to skip. You don't need to change the cookbook. You just need to change the notes because those notes decide what actually gets made. And yes, this affects how you gain weight, how you sleep, how you think, and even how you age. So what's really happening in midlife? During perimenopause and menopause, your hormones, especially estrogen, start fluctuating wildly. You're not imagining things. Your metabolism is slowing down. Fat is redistributing from your hips and your thighs to your belly. Your sleep feels broken and your brain fog, it is real. But here's the twist. These symptoms are not just from hormones. They're from how your body is responding to them. And you can influence that response because your internal environment changes how those genes react to those hormonal shifts. So in a future video, we're gonna talk about how stress puts sticky notes on the genes that promote belly fat and brain fog. But today, let's focus on how to flip the script. Now, here's the shift. It starts here. Here's what you can do right now to influence your epigenetics and start feeling better. Eat more color. Colorful fruits and veggies aren't just pretty. They tell your genes to reduce inflammation and to support metabolism because they're packed with compounds that send healing signals to your cells. Move with joy. Movement, especially strength training, activates the genes that help burn fat and to protect your brain because it tells your body you're strong, you're safe, and you're ready for vitality. And sleep like it matters because it really does. Cool down your room, power down your screens early. Your sleep affects genes that regulate hunger, memory, and aging because that's when your body runs deep repair mode while you're sleeping. So calm the chaos. Even five minutes of deep breathing in nature time can reset those stress hormones. They can change gene expression because your nervous system holds the pen that writes your daily instructions. Each of these send a message to your body at the cellular level. This isn't woo, this is science. Want to know which foods can mimic estrogen naturally? Well, stay tuned, that's coming in a future episode. So if you're feeling off in midlife, it's not your fault, but it is in your power to feel better. Epigenetics show us that we are not victims of our DNA. We are active participants in how we age because the way that we live reshapes how our genes behave. And it all starts with one sticky note at a time. Do you want to go deeper? Download my free Midlife Reset Kit formula on my website or in the link in the bio or the video. It's packed with practical tips to start reshaping your health from the inside out. Follow and subscribe and stay in touch because I've got so much more coming your way on midlife, metabolism, brain health, and how to turn your hormones into allies, not enemies. I'll see you again soon. Bye.